Uh, hello, folks. Uh, this is the question of 2006, uh, May, June, paper 2, and the question number is uh, 7. So it is concerned with the chapter of uh, electricity. It says that a circuit contains three similar lamps, A, B, and C. A, B, and C. The circuit also contains three switches, S1, S2, S3, as shown in figure 7.1. One of the lamps is faulty, so we don't know it yet. So one of the lamps is faulty. In order to detect the fault, an ohmmeter, a meter that measures resistance, is connected between terminals X and Y. So here we connect the ohmmeter from across X and Y. When measuring resistance, the ohmmeter causes negligible current in the circuit. So it uh, itself gives negligible current. Figure 7.2 shows the readings of the ohmmeter for different switch positions. So we have different switch positions, open or closed, and we have different readings in the ohmmeter like this. So from this uh, table, what we have to do is, we have to identify the faulty lamp and the nature of the fault. So first, let us go through the uh, first case here. S1 is open, S2 is open, and S3 is open, and the meter ring shows that resistance is infinite. So uh, the ohmmeter gives uh, something here, it goes here, it goes here, it cannot pass through here, it cannot pass through here, it cannot pass through here. So that means the resistance will be infinite. It's okay. It's okay and it does not say us anything about the fault. Then we have uh, S1 closed. S1 closed means we close it here. We close it here. Uh, S2 is open. Uh, S3 is also open. S2 is open and S3 is open. So that what happens is the current flows through here and this and this and this. So it will measure the resistance of this thing. So if current flow flows like this, it will measure the resistance of this lamp A and it reads 15 ohm so it means that the resistance of this lamp is ra is equal to 15 ohm it says so so this is okay and this is okay now again we have s1 open open s2 is closed and uh, s3 is open s2 closed s3 open so that means the current now comes like this it comes from here through here and through here at that time it is measuring 30 ohm so from here, 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 it is measuring 30 ohm. That means that it is already 15 ohm. So when it passes through here also, another 15 ohm is added. So that means that its resistance should be equal to, Rb should be equal to 15 ohm again. So 15 plus 15 in series is equal to 30. Then, in the other case, so this is also okay. Now, in the other case, yes one open, yes two is uh, closed, and S3 is closed. So now we close both of them. And at that time, it is measuring 15 ohm. So now that means closing this thing is making even this thing useless. Closing this thing is making even this thing useless. And this is only possible if it has got zero resistance. Only possible if it has got zero resistance because current goes through here, zero resistance, and here. And it's reading 15. So had it worked, it should have uh, read something else. So since it's reading 15, it should be a short circuit here, circuit. So that's why it is being useless. So that means that that means in this case, we must have the faulty lamp is this S3. Lamp is actually, uh, it is a C actually. The faulty lamp is a lamp C, lamp C. And the fault should be that it should have zero resistance. That means it should be short circuited. So it should be short circuited. Circuited. So this gives us two marks. Now, suggest why it is advisable to test the circuit using an ohmmeter that causes negligible current rather than power supply. One thing to remember is, power supply always has got a higher current rating. So that's why, when we use a power supply here, power supply here, uh, we use voltmeter, we use ammeter, what happens is, and if uh, we use power supply and if uh, this thing is by some short circuited, what happens is, the current here it will be, current here will be infinite because this part will have no resistance and this will spoil the power supply it causes burnout so that's why we have to use an ohmmeter which should be using negligible current so how i should write is write is by chance by chance by chance if a is a short circuited short circuited uh, use of power supply power supply 
causes very high current very high current current causing causing its destruction causing its destruction or burnout so that's why we have to use something which gives us less current now 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 uh, let me go through another page here so uh, <coughs> So we have to find, determine the resistance of one of the faulty lamps, one of the non-faulty lamps, as measured using uh, the ohm meter. So what we have here is, we have to find the resistance of the uh, faulty lamps uh, as measuring. So what we have done here is, uh, as is, we have already determined it here, RA15, 15, 15. So it is simply we can write here, it is a uh, 15 ohm. It's because when it is single when s1 closed when s1 was closed uh, reading equal to 15 reading equal to 15 ohm so that's why therefore r of a equal to 15 ohm so when s1 open and s2 closed and s3 also open so reading is equal to 30 ohm so that means uh, that means ra plus rb should be equal to 30 ohm so therefore rb is equal to 30 minus 15 equal to 15 ohm so the resistances are 15 ohm each now 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 now, now. and if since they are all similar uh, so similar lamps so we should have uh, rc also as equal to equal to 15 ohm now each lamp is marked 6.0 volt and 0 0.2 uh, ampere we have to find the resistance so we have a voltage equal to 6.0 volt uh, current is equal to 0 0.20 ampere so we must have r is equal to v by i equal to 6 by 0 0.2 equal to uh, so it should be equal to it's equal to equal, equal to let me use uh, a calculator let me use a calculator so I could I didn't face the calculator uh, with me so now I have my smartphone to be used as a calculator so 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 let me let me use it a bit taking a longer time though so uh, V by I so V is uh, 6 divided 0.2 equal to so it is uh, 30 ohm 30 ohm so R is equal to 30 ohm and then the power dissipation should be equal to power is equal to i square r or v square by r anything we can use so that's equal to uh, 0 0.2 square into 30 equal to so it is 30 uh, into 0.2 square equal to 1.2 so it is 1.2 watt so 1.2 watt now the one thing to that we have to answer is here resistance is equal to 15 ohm and here resistance is equal to 30 ohm why is this variation so what we have is this is the resistance when which, which we call as uh, cold measurement it is uh, uh, the resistance when uh, it was not hot or it was not operating but here we, we have been given as lamp is operating at normal brightness so that means at that time it is hot so when it is hot the resistance of a filament increases so at high temperature at a high temperature temperature r of a filament filament increases increases so this measurement this measurement measurement is in is in case d1 which is 30 ohm but in case c case c it is cold measurement cold measurement because measurement because 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 the ohm meter the ohm meter ohm meter has less current less current and the temperature is temperature is low so at that time the resistance is also low so here temperature high resistance high resistance high and here, temperature less, resistance also less.